The Sioux Falls VA Hospital is undergoing some dramatic changes right now to the tune of about $70 million. From restoring an old chapel on the campus built before World War II to creating a new medical lab to the main structure added just after that same war. A lot of work is being done to restore and modernize the facility. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Matt Holson shows you how the historic hospital that cares for 30,000 veterans is getting an overdue facelift. It's hard to miss when you're traveling through central Sioux Falls. This huge building, the Sioux Falls VA Medical Center, really stands out on dozens of acres along West 22nd Street. Right now we have close to $70 million worth of construction going on at the hospital. Facelift for the entire hospital, making it updated and um, look state of the art. Upgrades over the years have been few and far between, according to facility planner Crystal Dobbins. But now, that's all changing. Part of it is that we're just an old building and for a long time we, um, the funding wasn't there or we didn't um, apply for the projects and so we finally started to uh, do some facelifts to the hospital and um, put a lot of money into infrastructure and to just updating the hospital in general. The idea of a hospital here took hold during World War II. The VA purchased the land in 1944. It was originally Columbus College. The college's chapel from the 1920s was right here where we're walking. Dobbins says one of the current construction projects will soon bring it back to life. Our old chapel, which was part of the Columbus College, um, is going to turn into our auditorium. So we're going to restore all the old woodwork and the ceiling and the pulpit, and we're going to turn that into the auditorium. It's going to be a large gathering space for veterans, for education. And so that's a two-part project. Once we finish the chapel piece, we're going to back renovate where the existing auditorium is on 4th and make that a brand new prosthetic space. A $5 million Halls and Walls project is sprucing up what veterans will see when they're at the hospital. That includes new paint, floors, ceilings, and more in the VA's nursing home. Removing some of the old material from the hallways and the common areas and the, in the rooms that the patients are in, and then putting new product on it. As we were touring the nursing home known as Community Living Center, we ran into a veteran proud to be upgrading the space. Carrie Janicek is a carpenter and a Navy veteran. He can't wait for other vets to see the finished product. He's also excited for the hospital staff, many of which have also served in the armed forces. You get to know all the people here working in that area, the nurses, the people that work here, they really appreciate it too. He says he's fascinated with the concrete masonry and the detail work on the hospital's exterior. Part of that exterior is changing to make way for a multi-million dollar medical lab. So the lab hasn't had an upgrade probably in 20 years, so we're going to build a brand new lab facility, um, and it's about 30% bigger than what they currently have, um, so it'll be a nice addition to the hospital. The fifth floor is also being renovated to create more space for minor surgery suites and offices. Veterans' mental health care, an important aspect of services here in 2020, is also getting a new facility. Currently, our mental health staff don't have the space that they adequately need, and this is going to be a 15,000 square foot brand new outpatient building for um, our outpatient mental health um, patients, and so we're super excited about that. Dobbins works on a lot of the applications that bring in federal funding for these projects. She works hard on them because the hospital holds a special place in her heart. My grandpa was a patient on the CLC here and my dad is a patient here and so I take a lot of pride in the work that I do and I enjoy the construction planning because I want this hospital to look just like it does at Sanford or Avera. They should have the same facilities and I believe in a lot in what we do here and I, I take it to heart. Taking care of veterans in a modern way and she says there's more to come. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Matt Holson. Dobbin says other projects that are getting funded include a new $18 million front entrance, an addition to the primary care unit, and a nursing home hospice cottage.